I'm Bob Miller, and today we're going to discuss installing the HP R-Series driver on the Caldera Rev. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to workspace.caldera.com or to your Caldera doc. Oh, in workspace.caldera.com on the left side, you're going to see download and install area. You're going to drop that down and you're going to go to printer drivers. For the printer drivers here, the manufacturer is going to be HP and the machine is going to be the R1000. Pops right up. You're going to see compatible drivers for the different versions. You're going to download the one that works with your version. In our case, this driver is the version 15. So we're going to go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, you want to make sure that your Caldera software is not running. And you're going to go and click on this file. We're going to tell it to continue. And we're going to have to use our password. go ahead and say open. All right, so here we are for the driver install. We're gonna click the right arrow. We're going to get the tech notes along with the driver. So we're gonna say okay. The tech notes will pop up right away. That's gonna tell you some of the key functions of the driver and how to use it. I'm gonna minimize that right now. So we'll come back to that later. Once we're done with the install, you can go ahead and uh, click the thumbs up. It'll ask, are you ready to proceed? It'll make sure that everything is stopped and it will actually go ahead and finish the driver install. Now, once the driver install is completely done, we can go ahead and we will want to uh, launch the Caldera RIP. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the Caldera RIP here. It's gonna say that the printer driver has been installed. Do you want to go ahead and configure it basically? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in here to our main Caldera menu and we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna click on server admin. In the server admin, you're going to see your HP R-Series Latex. We're going to click on it, and we're going to click Configure. So a couple of things that you want to do here is you will want to connect to the HP server. So um, in our case, that HP server is 10.3.3.44. So I'm just going to switch over to Finder here real quick. And I'm gonna to go to go and connect the server. And I'm gonna tell it 10.3.3.44. And I'm gonna hit connect. But before I do that, just, just one quick note. A lot of times people have trouble in this spot. Uh, and the reason is because you don't have permissions on the HP equipment to actually go and connect to it. Uh, one way to get around this is to go to the R-Series printer and go to the keyboard and go to your start menu, accounts, and users, and set up a new user on that machine that has access to all the folders, uh, the output folders. So, um, so you'll want to go ahead and do that. We named the user Caldera with the password Caldera for the purposes of this particular video, but you can use whatever password you like. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say Caldera and Caldera. And now it sees the machine and we're going to connect to the output folder. That's done. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. We don't need Finder anymore. So now we can go back here and we can click here 
and we'll want to click the up folder here to find the parent folder. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning here and we're going to go down and we're going to find volumes. And we're going to find the output folder that we just connected to. And when you're connected, you're going to see all of the medias that are currently on your R series. So you'll know that you've made the connection. Now we're going to just click open. So there it is. The root folder is correct. The other place we need to go is connections. So the connection is a file connection, but you're going to want to put that IP address in there. And once that's in there, we're going to go ahead and click proceed. It'll ask for the password again. In this case, it's Caldera. And now we're done in this area. Now, with the printer driver installed, you're going to want to go back to your main screen and you're going to want to go to Easy Media. This is really the final step. So when we go to Easy Media, we're going to click on Printer and we're going to click Next. We're going to go to the R1000 and we're going to click next again. It's going to tell you that it's synchronizing the media. This will take sometimes up to a couple of minutes to synchronize the media, so you'll just need to be patient. Once the synchronization is done, uh, you'll be able to see all of your medias inside of the Caldera RIP and you'll be able to go ahead and print. We're gonna let it continue to synchronize, but in the meantime, that really covers the basics of installing the R1000 RIP. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at IT Supplies. Just ask for a color consultant or your sales specialist, and we're gonna be more than happy to help you. Uh, please also don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment here on our YouTube channel. We always look forward to your feedback. Thanks so much and take care.